After all the, the drama last week in Strasbourg with the postponement of the debate and the vote on TTIP that we'd prepared for, for for so long, it seems almost quiet this week, but actually, of course, uh, we have been dealing with a lot of issues that directly affect Wales. One of the, the main things I've been working on this week is tourism, and in particular, how we can get Wales as part of the several networks and organisations that work on a Europe-wide level to promote uh, regions and small nations, how Wales can be part of that. That's something that's, uh, that I'll be taking up over the next few months. We've also uh, been talking about languages, um, the need for a strategy for particularly minority languages and the co-official languages like Welsh and to spend some time here to, to see how the Parliament works and how the EU works is Gethin Bennett. Hi. Uh, welcome, Thank Gethin. you very much for having me. Thank you. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Gethin Bennett. I've just finished my final exams at university, studying law and French for four years, and I uh, decided to apply for work experience with Jill to see how the EU operates in practice and what it means to be a member of the European. So thank you for the opportunity. Yep. It's not just law, is it? You've actually exactly, studied no. uh, European law, so yes. you know a lot about the legislation. Exactly. So it's a chance to see it, how, yeah. how things work in a practical sense. And I know it's been a short time, but um, we are going to have this really important debate mm. and referendum, of course, on EU membership. Have you seen how important it is for Wales to be Absolutely, here in the absolutely. I don't think people at home realise the exact impact of the union on domestic affairs and how much, in my opinion, benefit comes of it, how much money is put into projects, how much um, MEPs put effort and work into uh, maintaining standards and um, passing laws which really do affect uh, the people of Wales mm. in a positive way. Mm. And the, the potential, I always think, for Wales here too, there's so much scope for, for Wales to have a higher profile. Absolutely, and especially with the Welsh language, I'm still in shock that it's not an official language, given the amount of speakers mm. we have compared to, say, Irish Gaelic. Mm. And um, having seen you yesterday passionately um, arguing for the importance of the Welsh language, it was very refreshing to see. Good. <laughs> so, you've got... Uh, experience, you've got qualifications and understanding of European legislation, do you think that you can use that here in the future? I think I may, I may do. Um, before this week I thought I was certain in what uh, career choice I would do as a solicitor, but having already just spent three days here, I think I might have to rethink and maybe consider um, a career in the European Union, having yeah. studied law and French, I think the French yeah, aspect, of course, yeah. and of course a shortage of uh, British and Welsh students who um, uh, who have jobs here might mm. be a real possibility mm. for me now. Well, that's that's really good news because we certainly need more young people, skilled and experienced young people from Wales to come and work in the EU institutions to try and, and secure Wales's place and also to help build a better Europe for the future. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.